We're really doing our focus on Journey of AI around three areas. Operational efficiency inside the organization, rewiring the business for better customer experience and to unlock new revenue opportunities in new products and services that we can create around Generative AI and be critical to attracting the right talent to our organization, making Vodafone an employer of choice. It will clearly drive great productivity improvements for the, the general workforce, but we see great opportunities in customer experience in particular to help us uh, improve the quality of our experience and the experience we offer to our customers. But we don't see Journey of AI as a workforce reduction strategy. It's really for us about improving productivity so we can improve quality and improve the quality of the service we offer to our customers. I think we all recognize in our companies a huge percentage of work is just drudgery. If you can have Journey of AI supporting employees to do that work and free up their time as we have with agents or we have with our lawyers to really focus their time on higher quality work, we unlock more value. We learned a lot through our early adoption of Microsoft 365 Copilot, enough for us to go to 68,000 users across our organization, and we were really encouraged with the results that we found. If I take our contact center operators, we built a set of summarization tools, a super agent capability that let them understand all of the previous interactions that you'd had with us in your, your previous calls. That frees up their thinking time. It means they're not looking through hundreds of screens to gather information while they're trying to talk to a customer. Generative AI is doing all of that work for them, giving them the key points to discuss with that customer. And it's creating a much better conversation with the customer. We're seeing higher levels of NPS. NPS is Net Promoter Score. We ask all of our customer interactions to score us to create a, uh, a perception of how our customers feel about us in every interaction they have with the company. And our customer satisfaction, that NPS that I talked about, has gone from low single digits uh, into to the high 30s. In fact, one of our early use cases with Microsoft 365 Copilot is in our networks area, managing our base station estate. We're using Copilot to summarize those to help our network engineering and planning teams understand when the lease might expire. That's helping our decisioning in our network planning, which will result in a higher quality network and a better customer experience for every mobile customer. I think ultimately all companies will be technology companies. You need to have the right capabilities to leverage that technology, to harness it for your specific applications, and you need to find the right partnerships to work with technology companies that can help you move at pace. How quickly you do that will decide whether you're a winner in your industry or whether you're a laggard in your industry. Journey of AI used in the right way, in the right frameworks, in the right policies can be game-changing for your organization. Understanding how to apply that to your company is something everyone should be doing.